Hey guys, my name is Georgia Fowler and today I thought I would cook you a really delicious but super satisfying meal. I'm gonna go for a dry green curry salmon with a Thai slaw and a ginger and garlic broccoli. Um, I always think it's most important to be super satisfied with what you're eating and that's a way to make diets, you know, last forever um, and feel healthy. You know, nobody wants to feel deprived. So this is what I do. I have good quality proteins, quality fats and lots of fruit and veg. Um, I think this is honestly the way we're meant to eat and it's never saying never to any one little thing, um, but just keeping a really balanced diet. Anyway, come along with me. This is delicious. So for the slaw, I've used a mandolin to shred up some veggies. I've done cabbage, carrot, radish. I put some coriander and some chili in there. And for the dressing, I'm going to put into a jar, equal parts sesame oil, soy sauce, and lime juice. And then I'm gonna put in about a teaspoon of palm sugar and shake that all up. I just like to prepare the salads before I begin cooking. So then that's done when everything's hot and beautiful to eat. So to start the salmon, I'm gonna make the curry paste. I'm gonna do about a tablespoon of the green curry paste um, per fillet. So I've got three fillets. I put three tablespoons of that in, a couple tablespoons of the coconut cream. This is like the thick stuff off the top. I know it's fats, but it's good fat and you know, it makes it absolutely delicious. A little bit won't kill you. Um, about a teaspoon of the palm sugar and a teaspoon of fish sauce. So we're gonna stir that all around in a pan on like a low heat and that just kind of wakes up the flavor. And that will be what you're putting over the salmon before it goes in the oven. All right, so we've made the sauce for the salmon and we are just gonna pour that over. I've laid out some oven paper and put the fillets down. I'm gonna pour that in, making sure they're completely covered. and then we're gonna wrap it. So either side of the oven paper and fold in the edges. We're then gonna throw this into the oven on an oven tray at about 190 degrees and that's gonna bake for about 20 minutes, depending on how hot your oven is. Eat. So now the fish is in the oven, I'm gonna get to this broccoli. I'm gonna finally chop up some garlic and some ginger. I had some jumbo sized garlic here, so I'm just gonna use one of those. Otherwise use a couple, all the better for the immune system at the moment. But basically we're gonna chop the bottom end of this broccoli off and put it, cut it up in equal parts, throw it in, blanch it, and yeah. So I've just drained the broccoli that's been blanching for about a minute and a half just to come through and I've got a super hot pan with a little bit of olive oil in. I'm gonna throw my garlic and ginger in. Hear yeah, that sizzle. And just really mix that around until it becomes beautiful and fragrant. Right. Keep stirring that so it doesn't burn on the bottom. Starting to be pretty fragrant. You can almost add in your broccoli. Here's a little more oil. And a squeeze of lemon. Put a bit of sweet soy sauce in, kind of just gives it that beautiful sweet flavor. A touch of tamari, so a bit of salt, and a little bit of sesame oil can add a flavor. Coat that. I'm just gonna 
had the cashews, the broccoli, the brown. Want those a little toasted? Done. Let's pull this down and out of the oven. Oh, smells amazing and fragrant. I'm just gonna pull this over onto the platter and serve it in the paper. So here is the masterpiece. We pulled the salmon out of the oven and just opened up that parcel and garnished it with some peanuts and some coriander and a squeeze of lime and mmm. -mm. So there you have it, healthy and delicious. We've got dry green curry, beautiful broccoli stir fry, and a Thai slaw. Can't go wrong.